Ouch. Uh, what's up, Green Peas? Welcome to Prison Junkie, my prison slash recovery slash addiction channel. My name is Yanni Cristo, and you guys are probably wondering why you haven't seen me for a little while. What are you doing out here in the forest? I mean, you're trudging around just trying to find your next story. No, actually, I found lots of stories. The problem, really, is I've found too many stories. And I've really had to check my motives along the way because I wanted a success story. And a lot of the stories that I have shot over the past month, month and a half, have mostly been flame outs. They've been failures. They've been car crashes, dumpster fires, whatever you want to call them. They haven't been super positive. And that's life, right? Life isn't always going to be a bed of roses. Life isn't always going to be successful. You know, you can't have the sweet without the sour. And to be honest with you, there's been just a lot of sour. And I've been wrestling back and forth in my mind with, you know, how much of this stuff do I give you guys before it just becomes something that I don't want it to be. But at the end of the day, real is real, raw is raw. And so I'm gonna give it to you. And I wanna spend this next 10, 15 minutes or so sort of showing you little bits and pieces of stuff that I have, threads that I have that I'm attempting to tie together. Because you gotta understand, I mean, in this business, recovery, the business of recovery, the business of getting better, you know, for those of us who are hardcore drug and alcohol addicts, who really can't have any of this stuff, just a little bit, will just lower those inhibitions, drop the obstacles and break down the psychological barriers that open everything up and open everything up in a very, very, very bad way. So let me just go ahead and catch my breath for a minute. I'll tell you what, here, follow me. Follow me right now and I'll tell you the rest. <clears throat> Yeah, so on second thought, I'll tell you what, rather than, <laughs> rather than you follow me, let me follow you. Um, oh, goodness gracious, you know, life just happens. That's what you gotta do. You gotta pick up the glasses and you just gotta keep moving on. Have you ever heard that before? You haven't? Well, you heard it here first. And so look, here's the deal. I literally have six, seven, eight, probably eight videos in flux, all in various states of repair. I wanted to find happy endings, as I mentioned earlier, but that is, that's not life. You know, it doesn't always work out that way. And so it's just kind of like this place up here. You know, one second you think you're in the forest and the next minute there's nothing but wide open spaces. And that's what life's all about. It's all about infinite possibilities. I don't care if you're 57 years old, you're a midget, you got tattoos on your face, you can't get right, you can't stay sober for one day. That's one thing. Or if you're 43 years old like myself, and you're just now exploring the possibilities. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about OC. That's one story. Granny, and those two are kind of connected. The rest of Justin, and of course you guys understand, if you don't know the Justin video, check out Homeless Meth Addict in Charlottesville. Um, we also have Elliot, and we've got Eric Moore, and we've got Joey, the guy's done 13 years in prison, and oh, by the way, OC has done 22 years in prison, so we are filling in all the blanks over here at Prison Junkie. We're trying to get you this stuff as quickly as possible, but sometimes I get overwhelmed, sometimes. Life just keeps happening at such a pace I'm not used to it because let me tell you something, and anybody will tell you this who's ever been locked up, life does not stand still for the convict. Life does not stand still for the addict, right? So if you're both of those things, believe me, it's always trucking. Sometimes you just gotta catch up. But don't hurt yourself, right? Take it slow. Make sure that you're in tune with the galaxy, the universe, that your motives are pure and that you're always trying to do the right thing. Put one step in front of the next, and eventually, it will all reveal itself. One. 
prison system is basically consists of three things. Selling drugs, people that are buying drugs, and people that are committing crimes to get drugs. There it is. Drugs and alcohol rule the system. The public defenders, the prosecutors, the private attorneys, the judges, it all goes off drugs. This is for real? Yeah, this is real life shit. I told you the story, right? Why are you filming this? Hey, y'all, you're a great dude, man, you know that? And right now, I feel emotional about it, because we'd have a rough day, we'd be arguing, fighting. Well, every single motherfucker in there locked up for a distribution job. This is his real news. I have news for you. The people that are holding the sign on the road will work for food. Can you help? God bless. You know what we call them? Professional homeless. I mean, really, you gotta work for it. You, nobody can give you anything. You gotta put the work in. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna go to the day labor center, $80 today. And on the second day when your muscles are hurting, we've done everything you can. You can at least afford a hotel room. I'm seeing shit I've never seen before. That are really wise. Oh, excuse me? I do, I appreciate it. A, a conspiracy theory about how Shawshank Redemption is tied into uh, Jeffrey Epstein's rape island. Now I have 30 miles left in my tank and I have to get out of all of this. So we have to be very careful about where we're going here. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Do you know where, I, where we're at? Honestly. Yeah, we should be in my driveway somewhere. You can't see anything. <laughs> a lot of people wonder about my backdrop. They've never seen my prison bathroom. I've built a cell, yeah. But I've also become so institutionalized that I've built a prison bathroom. And in prison, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure to hit that. Ah! Actually. Delaplane sign right there. There's a country store, a post office. Come on, look. Come on. How important have you been? What did you want with you? How the fuck are you hanging this up? That you wanted to ride home and you keep nodding the fuck out. I might shot you with Narcan about 10 or 12 fucking times. I'm not trying to stretch you out, but I've had a long fucking day. Fucking Kobe beef with fucking crab legs and lights in the tail. <laughs> I'm not sitting here just, all, 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 all,